Yo, everyone, and welcome to Scotch Tapes. Hi, I'm Irvin Czerkowski, Global Malt Whiskey Ambassador, and welcome back to Scotch Tapes. In this series, I'm going to be taking on a journey through Scotland to visit a range of different distilleries to learn about the magic of Scotch whiskey production. Now, if you missed our first two episodes, you can catch them on Diageo Bar Academy's social channels. Now, today I'm not going to take you one, but two distilleries. We're going to learn about the production process, we're going to recap fermentation that we spoke about last month, and then we're going to take a deep look at distillation in one of Scotland's most interesting still houses. I'm going to introduce you to some people and some delicious whiskies on the way so let's get started very excited on our way into the first distillery and, oh look it's you and gun it is Glo Hi. global whiskey master you and gun nonetheless what are you doing here i'm just lurking at my natural habitat <laughs> should we go have a look at the distillery let's together then Come okay on. awesome okay Evan, we're in the still house at singleton of dufton distillery What's going on here? What do we do different than here? So here they try and make a, a really unique style, a different style of spirit to what we have along the road. This is more akin to classic Speyside style. Okay. It's light, it's grassy, and it's fruity. You can smell straight away. Yeah, it's like amazing. Like hair drop note. So here the stills are short, but we want to produce a spirit that is light. So how we do it is that we turn the condensers that would usually be cold and we run them warm. Oh, Essentially okay. turning them into extensions of the still. Okay. More copper contact, lighter style of spirit. It's why this room smells the way it does, like kind of hair droppy, yeah, it's lovely. fresh cut grass note. And this is a standard double distillation. Yes? Double distillation. Okay. And great. this is, is this it's a great example of a distillery that has innovated to create a style of whiskey that they want to do. They don't have the room to put like tall, high tall no. stills in. So as you can see as we scan around the room, it they're short, but they still manage to get that grassy style. Okay. Amazing. It's it, basically when you taste the bottle of single and well, it's a perfect balance of wood maturity, but also the magic that happens in the still house. So it's a lovely sense of place that comes with Yes, it. yes. Amazing. Sweet. Sweet. <laughs> So this is the Still House in Mortlach Distillery, a distillery that does things extremely differently to other distilleries in the area, producing three different styles of new makes. We're going to learn about that from our special guest downstairs. So we are in the Still House um, at Mortlach with you. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and this is one mile down the road from where we just were at Dufton Distillery. It does something a little different. It does something hugely just different. Um, here at Mortlach, we do a 2.81 distillation process. Most distilleries in Scotland, including Dufton, do a double distillation process. So in Mortlach, it's, um, it's unheard of anywhere else. This was pioneered by Alexander Kelly uh, over a hundred years ago. And in our distillery, we essentially run three still houses in one. So we're producing three distinctly different spirit styles. We're producing a sort of cereal malty style, a fruity style, and an almost kind of chewy style. And we combine all three of those spirit styles together to make Mortlach. It's unique, there's nowhere else in the world that makes spirit like this. It's not only not like space site, it's not like no. anywhere in Scotland. It's not like anywhere else. And, and it's, uh, it's a ludicrously complex situation. It's incredibly <laughs> complex. When you look at the stills, they're all different shapes and sizes. The way they interact together, there's a standard double distillation, and then there's also a kind of triple H distillation, and then something vaguely akin to a quadruple distillation, maybe. Um, it's incredibly complex, but what it leads to is a unique style of spirit that is not made anywhere else in the world. I think you should pay some. I think you should too. Okay, so you and we are here in the warehouse. Yeah. Um, warehouse four? Sure. Sure. Yeah, warehouse four. <laughs> more, 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 we I do mean, know what's in the glass. So this is yeah. Mortlock's 16 year old, and we're going to have a little nose and taste of this. Now, Mortlock's uh, 16 for me is um, it's the epitome of Mortlock. It has that sort of foot in both camps of sweet and savoury. So you're going to get richness, you're going to get bold flavour, almost that sort of umami kind of earthy savoury note. But then on the flip side, you're also getting those fresh berries, that really nice, rich, dark fruit flavour. And they just kind of balance each other out really, really well. It's about as bold as you can get, I think, before you take that next step into smoking Smoke territory. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so it stops just shy of there. But it's without a doubt the boldest um, spirit in space side, for sure. I'm sold. Should we taste? We should. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. And you'll notice on the palate, a lot of what we smell in the nose is reflected in the palate, but also think about the texture. It's rich, it fills the palate beautifully. Chewy. Yeah, chewy. You, can yeah. Want, you, you want to Fork chew on it. Knife. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and then when you swallow it, it lingers for quite some time. You know, it's got I mean, a long, long finish, but not a, not a, a problem at all, I wouldn't say. No, it's, no, it's no. Lovely. 
yeah, so hopefully everyone's drinking one on. So I popped from Speyside all the way down to Glasgow to the Gate, one of my favourite modern whiskey bars. I'm going to make for you a simple highball featuring the Singleton 15 years old. Now first up, we're going to start with that, the start of the show, 50 mils of the Singleton. Then I want you to fill your nice highball glass up to the very tippity top with ice. We're going to add 75 ml of apple soda. Here I've used apple ties, but you can use a sparkling carbonated apple juice. And then 75 ml of straight up soda water. Take your bar spoon straight through, pull the whiskey all the way through it up to the very top. Um, just so we're blending all the ingredients together. Last touch, more ice. Always lots of ice. Don't want any gap in the bottom of that highball. There you have it. That is the Still House Soda featuring the Singleton 15 years old. That is all we have time for today. Thank you for everyone for tuning in. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. We'll be back next month. We'll be taking you on the journey to Sky to explore all things Talisker. Uh, I'll be introducing you to some very very special guests uh, our Johnny Walker Master Blender may make an appearance uh, so make sure to have a bottle of Talisker 10 or Johnny Walker Black Label or whatever it is you want to enjoy while watching the session see you all then